Well, we have proof. Proof that there was election fraud in the 2020 election. Only it's proof that Donald Trump was trying to create the fraud. CNN received, obtained surveillance video that shows that fake Trump elector was escorting operatives into Georgia's this county, and then to a Georgia County election office before our voting machines were breached that were reported. <sighs> Maybe it's about time for everyone to get through their heads that there was no election fraud in the 2020 election on the Biden side. That there was election fraud only all the way on the Trump side. Now I'm gonna read you some, art, some portions of this article from CNN Politics. A Republican county official in Georgia escorted two operatives working with an attorney for former President Donald Trump into the county's election offices on the same day, note that, the same day a voting system that was breached, newly obtained video shows. The breach is now under investigation by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and is of interest to the Fulton County District Attorney, Fannie Willis, who is considering, excuse me, conducting a wider criminal probe of interference in the 2020 election. They're coming for your ass, Trump. She's coming for your ass. She's got the scent, and now she's coming for you. The video shows more light on how, and how an effort spearheaded by lawyers and others around Trump seek evidence of voter fraud was executed from the ground, on the ground from, the, from Georgia to Michigan to Colorado, often with the assistance of sympathetic local officials. And of course those sympathetic officials happen to be Donald Trump supporters. So yeah, this was a coordinated effort to circumvent the election in the hands of Donald Trump. In the surveillance video, which was obtained by CNN and others, Kathy Lehman, a former GOP chairwoman of Coffee County, Georgia, who is now under criminal investigation for pro possessing a fake, um, excuse me, for posing as a fake elector in 2020, escorted a team of pro-Trump operatives to the county's election office on January 7th 2021, the same day voting systems there were known to have been breached, January 7th, the day after the attack on our country by Donald Trump supporters under his orders to try and circumvent the election by force. The two men seen in the video with Nathan with Lehman, Scott Hall, and Paul Mangio have acknowledged that they have successfully gained access to a voting machine in Coffee County on the behest of Trump lawyer Sidney Powell, the very same Sidney Powell that's still under investigation for this thing. And now more evidence has shown that she was involved. Text messages and emails and witness testimony filed as part of the long, I'm sorry, as long, excuse me, a long running civil suit into the scrutiny and the security of Georgia's voting system shows Latham communicated directly with the then Coffee County electors, supervisors, about getting access to the office, both before and after the breach. One text message, according to the court documents, show Latham containing the arrival and whereabouts of a team led by Paul Mangio that traveled to the Coffee County at the direction of Sidney Powell. I got more thoughts on this. I'll be, just let me finish this here. Three days after the breach, Latham texted the Coffee County elector supervisor, quoting, did you finish with the scanner? According to card documents, Latham testified she did not know what Hall was doing in Coffee County, but when confronted 
with her text messages about the scanner, she asserted her Fifth Amendment rights. That's her right. But you just got caught. Not only did you got caught, get caught trying to steal an election, you just caught. This is a little thing called perjury, which means you lied on the on the oath, which means your ass is going to prison. Get ready to be. Well, I'm not going to say that. Anyway, Mangio did not respond to CNN's request for comments. Instead, the data firm he worked for, Stricker. Sullivan Stricker, which court documents shows what, who was hired by Powell, said in a statement to CNN that it was directly, direct, I'm sorry, directed by attorneys to contact county election officials to obtain access to certain data in Georgia and also directed by attorneys to distribute that certain, in the, that data to certain individuals. You're screwed, Trump. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it now. You are so screwed. But before I get into that, I'm going to show you. Now, this is now again, this is from CNN, but this is the surveillance video that they were talking about. Kathy Latham we're showing you. She's the former chairwoman of Coffee County GOP. Already under investigation, this woman is, for posing as one of those fake electors who signed documents that declared Donald Trump was the winner of the 2020 election. Latham can be seen here escorting a team of pro-Trump operatives into the Coffee County Elections Office, including an IT specialist who was working with Trump attorney Sidney Powell. This all happens on the same day the voting system in that office was illegally breached. January 7th, 2021, the day after the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Text messages, emails, and witness testimony from a civil lawsuit against Georgia election officials have connected Latham, that woman, to the plan to give the group access to the election's office. About a week before this voting machine breach, that same woman, Latham, testified before the Georgia State Legislature, along with Rudy Giuliani, talking all about voter machine irregularities in Coffee County. Latham's attorney told CNN in a statement that Ms. Latham has not acted improperly or illegally, and Ms. Latham did not authorize or participate in ballot scanning efforts, computer imaging, or any similar activity. The IT specialist firm says it had no reason to believe he was doing anything wrong either. One important note, Coffee County, where this happened, is a Republican stronghold. Donald Trump won this county with 70% of the vote, but you can see from that video there that the Trump-connected team wanted to and was able to get access to that election office. So while we were all still reeling from January 6, 2021, the attack that Donald Trump spearheaded, that he pushed, that he prodded in the vain hopes of him wanting to stay in office. The next day, January 7th, he was trying to steal the election. Now we don't know if this is the only state he did this in, or he did in Pennsylvania or Ohio or any other any other state in the country. But I'm willing to bet that he did this again somewhere else. They just haven't found it yet. Operative word, yet. So Trump, your little screaming and hollering, and not to mention the Trump supporters screaming and hollering of this election was stolen, blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Your little threats to this country, if Donald Trump isn't put back in the office, had just fallen by the wayside. They have fallen by the wayside, and I am loving every single minute of it. Now, I'm not expecting a, an apology not from Sidney Powell or Rudy Giuliani or even that idiotic Trump. I expect you to burn for it. And you're going to burn unless you decide to rat. And, and Giuliani, you should know all about ratting. I mean, hell, you were a federal prosecutor. You were a prosecutor. You helped took down the mob. You probably used snitches. Well, next, now guess what? It's your turn to snitch, boy. It's either that or the prison cell for the rest of your life. And that goes for you too, Sydney. And that goes for you too, Trumper, Donald Trump. 
is either tell the truth, spend the rest of your life as a rat, maybe you get yourself a, a book deal to supplement your income, or spend the rest of your miserable born days in the prison cell. Oh, and as for that, uh, those um, those claims that the election was stolen from you in 2020. As for you, Trump, on that, I don't. Again, I don't expect you to apologize because I already know your dumbass supporters are going to say, and you're going to convince them it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. They're trying to frame me. They're trying to frame me. No, we're not, Trump. We're not framing you at all. And you're doing a perfect job of, the, of hanging yourself. We're just waiting. I'm just personally waiting, and I wish death on no one. But it's only a mad time before you hang yourself, Trump. That, that one of your butlers or one of your maids at Mar-a-Lago or New York or wherever the hell you are right now is going to find you a rope around your neck a suicide note saying, probably saying, Oh God, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. They don't have me. Goodbye, cruel world. It's only a matter of time before you do that, Trump. Just to make sure of two things. One, you don't go to prison for the rest of your miserable life, which is going to happen sooner or later, one way or another. And, or two... Just because you want the, the, you're the last desperate act of a dying diva. Only the diva happens to be a woman and the diva is ugly as, ugly as hell. Trump, it's time for you to walk away. Walk away. It's time for your supporters to walk away. Because we now have evidence that you all tried to steal the election. Not Joe Biden, not the Democrats, not the deep state, not the dark star or whatever the hell you people think it is. Your boy Trump tried to steal an election. And his criminal confederates tried to steal an election. Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani being too. I'm asking you all to share this video because frankly... Trumpers are never going to believe anything. They're not going to believe this. Even if we're at such a, such a deep degree at this point that Donald Trump, that the only way they'll believe water is wet, the only way they believe they can survive with oxygen, that they need, they need to breathe, is that Donald Trump says so. It's gotten to that point. So, Donald Trump, you're going to prison. Sidney Powell, you're going to prison unless you rat. Rudy Giuliani, you're going to prison unless you rat. The three people in this, the, the people in this tape, the civilians video, you're going to prison unless you rat. It's only a matter of time. So you might as well start talking now. Or spend the rest of your life in jail, all for the sake of Donald Trump. And when you die, and I wish no death on anyone, but when you die... I'm going to find your tombstones, and I'm going to carve the words, I died for Donald Trump. I wonder how your kids are going to feel every time they see that on your tombstone. I personally would be embarrassed. But then and again, you Trumpers think you're doing this for a God and country, threatening FBI officers, threatening FBI agents and law enforcement officers all in the direction of Donald Trump. Maybe you'll find your, maybe you think yourselves are patriots. I find you nothing more than criminals, cowards, and fools. It wasn't worth it. And we have evidence to show that it wasn't worth it. Because your boy tried to steal an election. He paid you a bill of goods, you believed him, and now you're about to pay the price. And don't look for me or anyone else to help you. Not even that Nazi sympathizer woman in Pennsylvania. She ain't going to help you. Donald Trump is definitely not going to help you. You put yourself in the noose. It's only a matter of time for you to jump. And end it all. CTP, know the truth. God bless.
Peace to the left, justice to the right.